<laughs> Hi, and welcome to Sunday with Mike. This is show number 64 and our very first one for 2018. On today's show, we're going to be covering why I think you should become a mentor, some background music list, the DJ Video Cave, and it's time for me to remind you about some very important tasks that you won't want to miss. Grab yourself a cup of coffee and join me. I'll be right back. And welcome back. I wanted to start off the new year by asking each of you to pay it forward in 2018 and become a real mentor to other DJs. It's time that we stop beating each other up and instead show each other the way that it really could be uh, with your help. I've only met a few people in my life that claim to know everything and of course nobody does including myself. But most of us are really good at one or two things, and so-so on most of the others. Well, what if we all started sharing the parts that we're really good at with other people, and then ask others to help us with the parts that we're so-so with? Let's face it, it takes a lot to run a business. You can be great at playing music, but that doesn't mean that you know squat about advertising or how to read a profit and loss statement. Yes, I have been watching too much of the TV show called The Prophet, but I've also learned a lot from watching this show. I've also learned a lot about what big businesses care about while watching a show called Shark Tank. You know, we wear many hats and it's time to share some of your strong points with others who need your help. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help either. One of the greatest things of today's technology is the ability to learn more things about anything. If you just put your ego aside and develop a healthy appetite for learning, stop worrying about if someone wrapped their cables correctly to your standards. It's not important. What is important is that we keep making you the best that you can be and pay it forward to help others. I ran into a saying a few years back on Facebook that I really loved. It said, quote, do something today that your future self will thank you for, end quote. I hope that you'll apply that to, to your life in this month. What can you do today that your future self will thank you for? So I hope you'll take a moment and share what you know and ask for help with the things that you don't know about and let's all help each other to improve. Shadow someone on some of their events, write notes and ask questions later. Just keep learning and keep becoming the very best that you can be. DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy to manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. Do you play background music for some of your events? I know that I do for about 90% of my events. My events will start off with some kind of background music being played. Have you ever noticed a trend where if you had only saved the list from an event like this in the past, the one that you're doing right now could have benefited from that. You could just load that list and go with it because you could use it again. Many years ago, I spotted myself repeating a few different background music lists over and over, and I decided to that I really liked this concept and I wanted to do something. So I like the idea of working smarter, not harder. And so I started saving the background music list 
And then I would go back to them and visit them after a while. And I started putting them in, in an order. And then eventually after some months, I gave them names, right? So I called them different things. And then my next step was to share the names of these background music lists uh, and a brief description about what each one was, what kind of music it was with my clients. And then slowly more and more of my clients would select my pre-made background list for their events instead of creating their own or asking me to do it. This saved both of us a lot of time and hassle. Just a couple of mouse clicks uh, with my DJ software and bam, I had over two hours of background music ready to go. Recently, I was hired to DJ a surprise birthday party for a client's wife. Well, she liked a certain station on Pandora, and this made it really easy for me to listen to that station and develop a playlist for their background music. It was a genre that I hadn't heard of before called hipster. Um, and so for days, I would listen to this station and wrote down songs that I thought would work well. Fast forward to the event, I got tons of compliments from my client, his wife, the birthday girl, as well as their guests. So why am I telling you this? Well, Pandora could help you with one of your future surprise parties. And since I got a $200 tip on top of my fee for playing her type of background music, I thought that you might want to consider giving your background music a little more thought and consideration. If you haven't heard about the latest Facebook craze sweeping the DJ community, it's called, quote, the DJ Video Cave, end quote. In this group, you record your video posts and comments instead of typing them out like normal. Video posts open up a whole world of emotions that you can't get from text alone. It can completely change the way that you interpret something or how you feel about a comment that was made since you can tell if they were just having fun with you or if somebody's being a jerk. Uh, that emotional connection is gonna go a long way with this. So this whole concept also brings up just how human we all are. When you watch these video comments, you'll see lots of flaws in the person speaking, and I think it's great. We're not about being perfect, and certainly we're not when we're speaking to others, and that's what this video cave is all about. It's a private area, DJs talking to DJs, they're putting their guard down, they're not trying to be perfect, they're just speaking their mind, and you see them at their leisure, just relaxed and talking. Um, you can ask real questions in this group and getting real answers uh, from other DJs who have lots of experience. But you can see their emotions, their feelings, and their expressions, and I think it's wonderful. If you uh, just want to go the simple route, you can use your smartphone or a tablet and go with whatever flows out of you when you record, and that's cool. It's also a great chance to learn more about recording and editing video should you want to edit your post before you upload it. One of the first lessons that I learned while doing this show was that if you're going to edit video, you need a beefy computer and you also need to know something about the output formats because there are tons of them and all kinds of different standards and most of this stuff is just like way over our heads, mine, I was lost. One of the things that keeps coming up is aspect ratio. Here's a link to an aspect ratio calculator website, which I like, and I thought that it would help you with video and especially with picture sizes on your website. So what is aspect ratio? Well, according to calculateaspectratio.com, who I'm gonna quote here, says that, quote, Aspect ratios are largely defined by numbers as in a mathematical ratio that clearly defines how many inches high and how many inches wide your image and design project should be. 
While aspect ratios are measurements of the height and width, they are also often reduced to the smallest usable ratio in order to fit perfectly in every medium. That's a mouthful. To achieve the perfect aspect ratio, you must employ the use of an aspect ratio calculator. It reduces the margin of error greatly. I also found a great 10 minute video explaining all about video file information. If you want to save stuff for YouTube, etc. when you start tiptoeing in the video world, and I'm going to leave links for all three of these down in the details section for you in case you want to learn more, but I do highly recommend visiting all three of these sites. So be sure to join the DJ video cave and be sure to tell them that Mike with, uh, I sent you, right? Yeah. Sunday with Mike. Uh, we'll be right back. It's that time again when I remind everyone to back up your hard drives and also don't forget to back up your website. Take a look around and see what else needs to be done that you may have neglected to do lately. For your website, there's a great little program called FileZilla. And once you get this program set up the first time, you'll be an expert in no time. It's really easy to use. One, uh, if you have put as much work and effort into your website as I have, the last thing in the world you want to do is lose it without a backup copy. There's also another good reason to back it up. If your website gets hacked or gets a virus for any reason at all, you can just quickly delete the entire website and upload your backup copy. So keep a current backup of your most important data, music, website, etc., because you never know when you might need it. So that's going to be a wrap for our first show in 2018, number 64. If you can believe that, we've come a long way. Be sure to share the show with some of your friends. Give me your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if we've taught you anything new at all. I'm still saving a seat for those of you who have not joined us in the Sunday with Mike Facebook group. And from Terry and I, Happy New Year. <laughs>